welcome to my channel weekend caravan um, it's not your normal setting for a caravan sort of vlog I'm up in Abergavenny at the moment I'm a driving instructor and one of my pupils is out on test so what I'm gonna do with the next uh, videos that I make they're gonna be talking about what I've done what I'm doing where I'm going hopefully uh, some of the information might be helpful to people I'm a caravan newbie I've had our caravan uh, 2008 uh, Bailey Pageant Monarch Series 6. I've had it for about a month now. We've been away three times. Monmouth twice, Abergavenny last weekend, and uh, this Friday coming up we're going to Cardigan Bay. So that's a quick little intro and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video and the rest of the vlogs that I make. If you do, thumbs up, like and subscribe. Cheers! So, we we'll arrive at the van. Mm, by the look of it, probably gone about 45 minutes to an hour of sunlight. As you can see, pageant, Bailey, um, Monarch, Series 6. My little baby, I love her. Her name is Paige. I get a nice new shiny step. That's what I'll do for now. So I'm gonna come with the car, the, the van. Ah, and there we are. Oh, a bit dark. Let's get some light down in here. There we have it. That's my solar panel. Cheers. Pink stuff. Fire extinguisher, very important. Oh, nice and warm. So I'm gonna open the curtains and the windows. Right, one of the first things I gotta do is replace, if you can see it because of the sun. I say replace, I'm gonna put marker lights back on. I took them off, they were looking a bit grubby. Yeah, I cleaned them up a little bit, they're looking the best now. But I think they're like 12, 13 quid each, and there's nothing wrong with them. So I've given them a bit of a clean. I'm gonna clean around the area with a bit of white spirit. And seal them up. And stick them back on. I bought some new screws off eBay. Hope we didn't get uh, more than 10 seconds of that music. Right, so I bought these these ones. These things. I can't remember what they're called now. So I'm going to replace these things. Because uh, the ones that I took off the ends were starting to uh, start to round off a little bit. But these are nice new shiny ones. Uh, a bit of sealant and they should be uh, should be fine. So that's what I'm going to do now. First job before I uh, clean the front and put some super resin and stuff on the sides. Okay, that's one done. I'm missing a bottle of shoe, which is in the house. The cat knocked them off into the water bucket. My wife's just found them. So I'm going to just screw the bottom one in the bottom. At least it's on. That's good. On to the next one. Okay, that's job number one. putting the screws in tomorrow you see you got some little cracks there one there 
what I'm going to do is put some stuff in there called Captain Tollies. Uh, that should fill the grap, grap, should fill the gap, um, and should um, shouldn't let any water. I'll keep an eye on them. If they get any bigger, then I'll have to sort them out uh, a little bit better. Right, I washed the caravan the other day. I'm not sure if you can see along there. Sun's going in now, you can't really see it as good. But anyway, I washed the caravan the other day with caravan cleaner. Then I pink stuffed it. No, I didn't pink stuff it. Sorry. I I use pink stuff on the plastics. I used um, oh, is that too long? Uh, I used something called silky. No, take two. It's crap. Anyway, I used Fenwick's caravan cleaner, some silky, and then washed it off with Bobby Dazzler. But, like I said, it's left sort of you know, smudgy marks, powder. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. And I think the caravan looks a little bit deoxidized in parts. So, I bought some stuff. I'm telling my wife because I've been buying loads lately and she don't know. Anyway. Autoglim Super Resin Polish and Autoglim Extreme Protection. I'll show you now. This is what I bought. Super Resin Polish as recommended by people and I've heard this in to protect it. Keeps it longer. In the pack came with uh, an applicator sponge. Nice. And a microfiber cloth. I've got hundreds of them. So anyway, all helps. So I'm going to give my little rub down and see what happens. I think I might wash the front of the camera. Camera, caravan first though, because it's a bit yucky. As you can see, yuck. <laughs> I've just used this stuff, it's called the pink stuff, and um, my handle is a little bit like that. Yuck. Yeah, I've just done the other handle. Well, it looks like that. Good stuff, those hard plastic surfaces. Oh yeah, me again. Uh, I'm not sure if yesterday or the first part of this video made much sense. Uh, I was running out of time. There was lots I wanted to do before we go away today. I only managed to sort of uh, put the super resin polish on about three quarters of one side of the van. I wanted to do it all. And I wanted to go over it again with the, the gloss stuff. That never happened. I managed to put the front cover on, which was a bit of a potch because the awning rail on one side didn't have somewhere to put the, the bits in so I had to come all the way from the back all the way around to the front fortunately the other side did have sort of holes in for me to, to put the rest of the cover in managed to put it on, ripped it a little bit but it's on, safe, hopefully it doesn't rip off on the way um, yeah, so we're off at 12 o'clock my last lesson finishes up 5 to 12 so my wife comes home, we're going to pack up and we're going to get our way up to Cardigan Bay. Roughly should take about two hours. So I'll document that a little bit and see where it goes. Oh yeah, and by the way, the boy passed his test yesterday. Oliver, well done. First time pass. Don't know how many driving faults he had. But um, yeah, well done.
Well, we finally made it. Uh, it was a bit of a journey, a bit longer than I thought. And the sat nav tells you two hours, 20 minutes. It's roughly going to be about four hours towing a caravan. So, a lesson learned there. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer because you just need to chill and relax and don't worry about it. Uh, so anyway, we've set the caravan up. You come down to Newquay. It's quite nice, never been here before. Just saw some dolphins. They weren't that close, they were in the distance, but you could tell they were dolphins. It's lovely, lovely and quaint, little place. Very busy. Even this time of night, which is quarter to seven. Yeah, it's nice. Lots of people eating chips. Being pestered by seagulls, as we uh, invariably get at the seaside. So lovely. Oh, man fishing. Okay, so uh, some breakfast duties. I usually do the breakfast uh, when we're away. Bacon, bit of egg. Uh, toast is done. Nice. And we're going to go off down to the beach for the day, depending on the weather. Saturday morning, we've come down to Newquay. Beautiful day, nice little car park, feet bound all day, happy days. Uh, so we're going to go down to the front, a little mooch around, maybe have some chips on the beach, sunbathing, and a bikini on. And uh, so yeah. this is Mrs. Davis, all looking all lovely. And we've got some guy chopping some trees back. Fish and chips, well, we're sold in chips for me anyway. Sausage and chips with Shannon on the seafront. Nice. Trying to dodge the seagulls. Whoa. Don't think they spotted us yet, so we're trying to be a little bit covert. Seagulls enjoy them too. That was their treat for not pestering us while we were eating ours. Although one nearly did land on my head.
finishing off with ice cream. We've had chips, ice cream, going back to the car now. The size of that, massive. Mind you, it was at five in each, but rip it. Just hope they don't melt and end up all the way down my arm. See that already? So I better get on with it. Eat it.